What is tween service? Tween service is a service inside of Roblox that helps you create smooth and animated movements or transitions for objects inside of your game. You can think of it sort of like making a part change its position, size, or even other properties over time so they don't just jump from one state to another but smoothly transition instead. How does tweening work? Tweening involves specifying an ending point for an object's property, such as the position, size, or even color, and then tween service will calculate all the steps in between to create a nice smooth animation. You can also define how long the animation should take and what type of easing, which is the acceleration or deceleration of the tween animation that it should have. So how we use tween service is first off, you're going to need a part, so I'm going to press this part button right up here. Now I'll insert a part into our game. After that, let's go over to server script service and open up our script. We're going to start off with the top here declaring tween service inside of a variable. And this is going to be equal to game get service parentheses quotation marks tween service. After that, we're going to use our part inside of a variable. So we're going to say local part will be equal to game dot workspace dot part. This will reference the part that we just added. Then we're going to create a brand new variable for something that we call tween info. Now this will hold all the information that it's going to be using to make our tween. So we're going to say local tween info will be equal to tween info dot new. I'm going to press enter inside of these parentheses right here. And we're just going to start up here on the first line with the time. Now this is how long the animation will last measured in seconds. For example, if we set it to two, then our animation can take roughly two seconds to complete. So I'm just going to set it right at two and then put a comma right afterwards. After that, we have the easing style and we use enum dot easing style to change this. So easing style determines how the object speed changes during the animation. There are various styles like easing style dot linear, which is more of a constant speed. Then there's quad, which is gradual acceleration or even deceleration. You can mess around with all of the different easing styles right here and see which one you like the most. Each one has a different way of easing and is pretty cool to use. I'm just going to be using quad. After that, we put another comma at the end of this and we can drop down another line. Here's where we're going to use enum dot easing direction. Easing direction is what defines whether the animation starts slow and speeds up or starts fast and slows down. It can be enum.easingdirection.in for starting slow and then going fast, or it can be dot out for ending slow but starting fast, or in out for a combination of the two. After that, let's go ahead and put a comma after this and drop down another line. And this is where we have something called the repeat count. This determines how many times our animation will repeat itself. If you just put this at zero, it's going to only go at it once. If you put this at anything above zero, it's going to repeat that many times. I'm just going to leave mine at zero for the sake of the tutorial. After that, let's put a comma right here, drop down a line, and this is where we have reverses. So this determines whether or not the animation will play in reverse once it completes. So we'll get to the end of the animation and then we'll go back to where it started. And this is a boolean, so we say false if you want it to not reverse. Otherwise, if you do want it to reverse, you can press true. I'm simply going to be using false, however. Put a comma after that and go down. And this is the delay time. So this will represent the amount of time that passes before the tween will actually start playing in seconds. So if we put five right here, it's going to only play after five seconds of waiting. However, I'm just going to put a zero for this. Now, once again, you don't need to declare any or really all of these values. The only one you need is the time because that determines how fast the animation is going to play. However, each one of these other properties right here is completely optional and are not needed, but they're just additional ways that you can customize your tween. After that, we're going to be using a built in function with tween service to create our tween. So we're going to be saying tween service colon create parentheses. And this is where we get to actually create our tween. Now, of course, we're going to need the object or the instance that we're looking to tween, which in this case will be our part. After that, it will take our tween info variable or parameters that we have. So we're going to say tween info right here. And last but not least, we need a property table, which will be inside of braces or curly brackets. And this will be the property that we would like to change on the part. For me, I'm just going to be using size. However, you can do position if you'd like to, transparency, you can do color, any property that this part has inside of here, such as color, brick color, transparency, reflectance, any of these properties except for booleans and materials can be changed through tween serve. So I'm going to say size, which is once again, it takes a vector three value, which is a 3D value with the direction and magnitude. 
and this is going to be vector 3.new and I'm just going to up the size to a big cube, roughly 10 studs by 10 studs in all three directions. Now, of course, you can do multiple properties at once if you would like to. You can put a comma after each different property and also do something like transparency, which will be equal to one, or you can just do one at a time if you would like to. Now, this is going to create our tween, but in order to actually play it, we need to go all the way to the end of our function right here, press colon, and then play with parentheses, kind of like playing an animation, which if you've watched any of my animation tutorials, you know how to do. If you haven't, you can feel free to watch them right up here in the top right. So let's click on this little drop down button right here and then click on run and see what happens to our part. Now this is going to take two seconds, so it's going to happen quite fast. And you can see our part just grew up to a very large cube right there. And the best part is you can do this with almost any property, such as the position like this, I don't know why it hopped right there. The transparency. That's going to be about it for today's tutorial. If this tutorial helped you guys understand tween servers and tween info inside of Roblox Studio, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment down below. It helps the channel out a ton and is completely free, so make sure you go ahead and do that. Anyways, have a great rest of your day. Bye.